Hello everyone! In this episode I will build a low-cost oscilloscope for my Rejuro rack. It is based on the DSO-138 mini oscilloscope that you can buy for a little over 20 euros as a DIY kit. My delivery included the housing, but I will not use that for this project. The basic kit contains two PCBs with all SMD components pre-soldered from the factory and the through-hole components that are needed for the build are included. A combined assembly instruction and user's manual is also included as a single paper leaflet. If we look closer at the two PCBs, there are one analog board with a prototyping area, which we are going to make use of later in this build. The second board contains the digital parts like the color display, microcontroller and uh, the USB interface. The easiest way to test that the board is working properly is to connect power via the USB interface. So uh, let's do that. And everything seems to work just fine. The bag with the components contains all the remaining parts for the build. So I'll start the build by sorting out the discrete components from the rest of the parts. The first step is to solder the field-made headers onto the digital board. Make sure that the headers are flush to the board before you solder them in place so they have the correct angle. After that, we can proceed with mounting the discrete components like the diodes, resistors, capacitors, inductors, switches and connectors. I use the multimeter to double check the resistor values, because the color codes can be a little bit difficult to read. Finally, we can solder the pin headers on the analog board and also make two solder jumpers. With this done, the build is completed. Next step is testing and trimming the probe compensation. The square wave should look perfectly square without any round edges or any overshoot. Alright, now that we have the oscilloscope working, it's time to turn it into a Eurorack module. This is done by adding a 10-pin boxed header connector, a 7805 linear voltage regulator and some filtering capacitors to the handle board. I will also add a small passive mult to the input to make it easier to route the signals in a modular system. Finally we can do some smoke testing with an LFO and an oscillator. And everything seems to work just fine. Okay, but we are not finished yet. We need to have some kind of front panel and attachment for the PCBs. So I will make a simple design in Fusion 360 that I can print on my 3D printer. The final assembly is pretty straightforward. I had to cut the screws on the front panel a bit and I'm reducing the button key tops from the housing. Finally, I attached the mult to the input and added some demo labels for the buttons and jacks. I know, it's not beautiful, but uh, it does the job. So here we have the finished product in the Eurorack case. The oscilloscope control may need some tweaking to get the trigger levels correct. But after that, you will probably only need to adjust the horizontal sweep with the plus and minus buttons.
That's all from me. Hope you have enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Bye for now and I catch you later.